how to align IGS 3D measurements in SOLIDWORKS. So this will be a video that will follow the same structure as the one created for CATIA, which I presented over here within my previous video. So let's take a look at the measurements. They will be for the assembly of a pedal support and the measurements have been done using a Stinger to portable CMM. So this is an older measuring uh, arm. And um, Power Inspect was a software used to do that. So let's take a look at, um, at this. I will jump within SOLIDWORKS. And uh, if you are familiar with my other video, you know that um, in CATIA we can just drag and drop the IGS. It will be the same over here in SOLIDWORKS. But uh, let's say that uh, by default, we're going to see that SOLIDWORKS will prompt us to use the import diagnostic on this part. I will just uh, select no for this. And if you're going to check the, the tree over here, we're going to see that only the surfaces have been loaded. So the IGS, if you remember from uh, CATIA, has those surfaces over here, but there are also a lot of measurements. So we see a wide variety of, um, of circles positioned over here. So those haven't been loaded within um, SOLIDWORKS. Now, in order to fix this, we need to address the import options. So I will just close that because the import hasn't been done correctly. I will go to Tools, Options. Over here, I can type in IGS, and this should filter the settings for uh, IGS. Let's take a look. Um, so these are the general import, and over here for IGS. So keep that in mind that uh, the search over here uh, so will be regarding import IGS, which is this one. And let's take a look. By default, there is the enable 3D Connect. I have that disabled. For, um, for other parts, especially if you are working with step files, uh, this will be a blunder. So let me just enable that and um, let's see how the IGS will load. And we have the parts over here. We're going to see the measurements. So they will each be added as an individual uh, surface over here, as we can see. But again, we don't have those informations regarding those um, those sketches. So the circles and the points are not over here. So let me go back to tools options. For the import, over here I will type in AGS. We see that um, all the imports are not only specifically for IGS. So this is uh, everything we see over here, the show level for IGS. I will just disable 3D interconnect for this. And over here we have the possibility to import entities as sketches. So if I will go over here and import those as sketches, I will click OK. And again, I will drag and drop the same IGS file over here. And we see that now we have the, um, the correct elements imported. But if you take a look within the tree, all of those will be incorporated into a single 3D sketch. So we see that all of those will be floating over there. And um, yeah. the most important thing is that we have them visually added now and we can work with those because with 3D measurements, it's important to also have those um, reference. Since over here we had a wide variety of um, circles measured. Now, if I will go back to the options, so to do at the import, I will now check import them as 3D curves. So this was just as sketches. I will click OK. Keep in mind that IGS files can also contain um, solid elements but in this case they um, there weren't any because the measurements are only focused on uh, various planes and um, various circles and we see that now we have all those imported curves as individual elements and this will be a lot better to work with it is the same in katia by default i'm just gonna do a, a quick comparison over here so we see the power inspect 
pile over here and we're going to have a wide variety of uh, for example this circle center graph will be the circle over here and i can easily go and measure the radius for example we see it over here position in the in the bottom it will be the same uh, within solidworks if you have those uh, individually it will be a lot easier so we see that this will be that imported curve and uh, yeah now let's take a look at address another problem because if you also check my video regarding Katia, I positioned the axis over here and we also saw how we can define a new axis system. Now, within SOLIDWORKS, if I will have these measurements and I will go, for example, to the top lane, you're going to see that the alignments will look like this. If I will go, for example, to the left, we're going to see that from the left, the measurements will look like this. Now, if I will start an assembly just like within Katia and I will add this as the first element, the main problem is that the origin will be positioned over here. So we see the origin um, location, which is over here. Because the measuring um, arm system, um, let's say, was positioned uh, over there with the origin, it will be automatically defined over there. We can do from power inspect and change it just um, after we we do the scan or before and uh, the measurements and we can position it onto another surface but if you are working with uh, 3d measurements that has an origin uh, over there i highly recommend that you will not make an assembly starting from this part you will create a new one so let's take a look at that i will create a new part in this case i know that for example I want to start um, from a rectangle shape that will have 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters. In this case, this won't be within a sheet metal. I will make this a 10 millimeter flat uh, part like this. And now I will define an assembly using this one. So let's call this, uh, let's say, measure one. Okay, uh, wait a bit, uh, I will answer the phone, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we have the assembly over here and we have the possibility to insert. So this will be measure 12. I will click OK. We're going to have the plate added. Now, we're going to have the origin over here because the part was created starting from uh, that point. And now I also have the, um, the measurements over here, which is currently not saved. As we can see, we have that uh, over there. I will just save this measurements as a SOLIDWORKS com, uh, part and now within the assembly I have the possibility to insert insert components and we're gonna see the measurements over here and I can position them now we want the plate to be fixed so this by default since it was the first part we have the F that means that it's fixed we have the measurements which are floating so they are not fixed and that's perfect and now in order to align we know that we want to offset this at 20 millimeters from the from the plate just like think at the so to do the same over here we're just going to use the mate and i will select the surface over here so that face and the face above and i will add a 20 millimeter distance between those and now if I will go for example to the top lane I have the possibility with move component I can select that and I can drag this along and now depending on the uh, let's say the design intent you can position this accordingly on the plate and afterwards using reverse engineering techniques 
you can uh, start work with with this